Hi, and welcome to Hype Vision. My name is Dan King. I'm one of the project pre-sales engineers over here. And part of my day-to-day -day job is designing solutions for customers, which quite often require monitoring as well as alarm verification. Historically, we've relied on third-party in integrations for that to happen. However, I'm pleased to announce that we're now going to launch our ARC integration solution. So what is ARC integration? Well, as the name suggests, we're developing our systems to work with third-party monitoring station platforms. We're continuously doing this to ensure efficient as well as effective delivery of alarm information. Going on from that, if you utilise our deep learning technology, for instance, you can reduce false alarms, which is often a cause of major headaches for monitoring platforms. So what does the system do? Well, it allows for alarms that have been generated by a Hike Vision system to be sent to an alarm monitoring station, or ARC. With that information can be pre and post recorded footage for video verification. This allows the operators to interrogate that footage to see whether it's a true or a false alarm and action it accordingly. So how do we achieve this? There are a couple of ways to do this. Traditionally, we would use an SDK method. So that would rely on the system being integrated within your backend you're going to use. But also, it might be more time consuming because you may need to open up some ports and port forward your system locally on the site. So, using the method we're releasing today, we utilise the Arc Gateway plugin as well as a back end. So that might be Hypro Connect, for instance. And this enables the system to use the SIA DCS platform or the SureGuard platform, which are common, common within the Arc Centre in the UK, to receive alarms from our systems. It also means that on receipt of the alarm, it is presented in the same way that the ARC controllers are already used to, meaning less training and also the system is far more usable. You can see this on our video. So, before we look at the configuration and setup of the system, I just quickly wanted to highlight a few of our systems that will actually reduce false alarms. As mentioned before, one of the major problems you have at ARCs and central stations are false alarm generation. This can be very problematic as it causes delays in responding to what would be regarded as a true alarm. So one of the more popular systems we use nowadays is thermal. This has become very available in the market. It's come down a whole lot in price and enables you to combat some of the more harsher environments, but also some longer distance scenarios. Another technology we use as well is our Deep in Mind solution. Now this is an AI based system and it's either based in the camera or the MVR itself or the DVR. And this again allows you to reduce false alarms within the system itself. We'll also have a look at our AX Pro in a second. So apart from our video based systems, which we've already highlighted, we can also integrate the AX Pro solution. This is our wireless alarm panel. And what we can do with that is at the central station, receive alarms from anything that's generated from here. So whether it be a door contact, a panic alarm, uh, a PIS, classic PIR detection, and if we have either a standard IP camera systems associated or the PIRs of the built-in cameras associated with the system, this will present video from the, from the alarm generation, giving the user, the ARC user at the other end, a clear indication of what's caused the alarm so they can action it appropriately. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll quickly jump across to the Hypro Connect splash screen. Uh, what we're gonna show you now is how easy it is to add uh, and remove um, devices from a central station using this platform. So for ease, we're just going to quickly use the Hike, Hike Vision Insight 2021 uh, system we set up for that demonstration. So if we click on that, it will show you what's currently connected on there. So we're going to go into that site itself. And as you can see, we've got an MBR and an AX Pro connected through uh, at the moment. So along the top, uh, you've got a lot of options there. So we want to go right along to the right hand side. Uh, and you've got the ARC service tab in there. So if we click on ARC service, and then that will show you what it's connected to. So at the moment for that application, we were just going through to Sentinel uh, ARC testing platform. Uh, and you can see the two units that are connected. So we're gonna deauthorize that. Uh, make sure to ask you to confirm you wanna do that. And then you'll see that both of those units are grayed uh, and offline. Now, if we to add them back onto that system, so imagine this is a fresh connection, uh, you click select ARC, and as you can see, it comes up. We've got the Sentinel Arc testing platform here. 
However, uh, in a normal scenario, I have a lot more options there for different uh, ARC stations. Uh, if your system is not, or the, the ARC system you're using is not listed in there, please ask them to contact us or let us know, and uh, we'll contact them, hopefully get them integrated onto this platform. Um, but moving on, i just show you how easy it is. So, just as mentioned, we've got the Sentinel ARC testing platform, so if you select on that, and uh, one click on there, and apply it at the bottom of the screen, and then we say which systems we want to add, so we're going to click on both. OK, click Insight MBR, OK, the AX Pro, and OK. And what that would do is that's going to send a, a, a notification to the site owner um, on their Hype Connect app. Um, so it needs to be authorised by the by the owner itself uh, before it will allow you to go through. So it's just, just making sure that the system is doing, you know, the owner is actually aware that's happening. Uh, so if we quickly jump across to the, um, the the app itself, this is what the owner of the site will see. As you can see, you have one pending device authorization. Uh, it's in fact that's come up that will come up a couple of times in the background because we've actually added to, uh, tried to add two devices. So what you need to do is you go to device authorization within the app itself. Uh, so we've got there's both of the units there. Um, so X Pro and the NBR. So we're going to quickly click on those. Them one by one, so we've gone. That's the MBR operation succeeded, uh, and then we'll quickly go back in the AX Pro and add that. The AX Pro and just confirm that. And then that's going to take a second just to refresh. And it's connected through. Uh, excellent. And now. Uh, so that's all done. So that's that's all the uh, the site owner needs to do. So we can quickly then jump back to the back end, uh, back to Pro Connect, and we can see it still says it's offline. So we refresh that page, and it will go back to the main splash screen. And uh, once that's done, if you go back to your so if you quickly load up, and it goes up to the Arc service again, at the top rank as we did previously. And you'll see that now uh, that both the ARC services are enabled. And it's as straightforward as that. Um, so just to recap, it's just a case of adding them uh, and getting authorization from the user. OK, so we'll go across to the um, central back end. So obviously, we've just, what we've just done there is added both the uh, AX Pro and the NVR uh, to it. Uh, as you can see, this is what the back end would look like for the, uh, the, the central station to set up. And we go across here, and we've got the Insights uh, name, Insight AX Pro, and Insight MBR. So if we click on the Insight AX Pro, um, that brings up the information coming through, and we just need to add uh, add that to it as a system. Um, and similarly, the same on the MBR. Um, all you need to do there is uh, to, to add that is have the serial number of the unit and uh, the encryption key, and then that will create a site. So we just quickly do that, and then, and then you, what you need to do then is you say get configuration, and what the get configuration will do is that pulls in information from the site itself. So in the case of an AX Pro, it might be your alarm and zones, etc., um, and that just makes sure that the system is is uh, teed up to know exactly what it's connected to, and the same with the MVR. So the MVR again, you, uh, the type is Hypro Connect in this scenario, uh, and again you need the serial number, and of course you need your encryption key on there. And those, with that information, you can add it on. And as, as with the AX Pro, you click on the Get Configuration tab, and that just downloads all the information from the MVR itself. Once that's done, uh, that basically means the system, both of those systems are now connected to uh, the central backend uh, and are ready for monitoring. So what we'll do now um, is if we look, we quickly jump on to the, um, the monitoring tab itself, so the actual operational tab. As you can see, we've got quite a few alarms that are coming through that we just generated in the background. So if we go down to the bottom screen and click on the operational tab. So this is the alarm queue. Um, so this is what you'll see generally. And as you can say, we've, we've generated, just for this demonstration, we've generated a few of the alarms. So we just quickly go into one. It's an alarm. Uh, we can close that down. And what we'll, what we'll pull it up is the main system. So this is actually pulling the alarm itself. So what we've got in the center of the screen here is your the playback uh, on loop of the alarm generation. So uh, in this particular scenario, it's just as say somebody's walking through the camera and it's generating an alarm. Now to the right hand side, this is actually connected to the live video. So that's the live video of the cameras that the alarms are generated against. 
so you can get a reference upon that. And what we want, what we want to do from there, say, so an operator would analyze that information, see whether it's a false alarm, true alarm, etc., uh, and action it accordingly. So in this scenario, we're just going to close it down, training only, or testing only, and we comment, and then it closes it down, waiting for the next alarm to generate, and that's it. And the system is now added and operational on, on, on the back end sensor. So what are the benefits of using this solution? Well, traditionally, if you wanted to integrate into a third-party platform, you would usually have to do this at an API-based level, which, while possible, can be problematic for time-consuming scenarios as well as physical configuration of the system. Whereas with our platform, once it is set up and installed, adding and removing systems is very straightforward. It's just a case of adding that system and pushing it through to the ARC itself. This is much better for your ARC controllers as they, they're receiving the information in the format and methodology that they're used to having. Also, we are supported by a number of different platforms that are already available on the market. Well, that about wraps us up today. So thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. However, if you want to find out more information on this solution and others, you can go to our website at hikevision.com forward stroke UK. Or you can check out our YouTube channel, which is Hike Vision UK Technical Support, or of course any of our normal social media platforms, which are on the left here. All it leaves me to say is thank you, and I'll see you on another one. Cheers.